Got the oil out, man. half in the frame, just pull the right half off. Kind of take the tranny off and roll it on the side too. Yeah. This um, block is important. Did it, yep. <laughs> did it both ways. Yeah. Well, this was your new way though, right? I don't think. I I don't even know enough. So you're polishing the shaft before you put the case? Is that yeah. what you're doing there? There's an O-ring in there. No ring in there. What'd you say? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was it. You're funny, I was polishing one No <laughs> respect. <laughs> Kate's good at polishing the shaft. Is that what you were just saying? Have they never been split before? It sounded like it, actually. Yeah. It sounded like it moved that one time. dull sound. Got to split the case here. You got a big uh, pry bar or something, right? No, he's thinking the same thing. Well, between like these two. Yeah. This is bad. Was it just a gasket or a factory silicone gasket? Um. Nice. That yeah, worked. there it went. Part of it, anyhow. Front went. I guess I should be recording. What the heck? Yeah. There we go. Having too much fun not having to do it Now, some guys said to put long bolts in there, slide it out in the bolts. You do that? or? Yeah, uh. I've never done it, but they say it makes yeah. it easier to install the case because they ain't got to hold it. That was rusty that kept telling me to do that. 
Oh, so you don't have to take the clutch off there. Yeah. <laughs> drive the yep. Yeah. What just fell out? One of the thrust washers. Yeah. Thrust washers. Yeah. Keep your finger on there, Hank. Ain't so bad, huh? They're not lined up anymore. Yeah. Well, I just want to get them over here. How about a, uh, yeah. Nice. So the case is split. Not anymore. So one side of the case <laughs> off. You can see all the shafts in there. So you only have to take out these shafts up here to get to the clutch, or you got to take everything out? Uh, well, if we can get that top shaft off, we don't have to do a whole lot. Yeah, the top shaft and the one shift for it. I didn't do the snap I remember that keyword. <laughs> the ball and spring detail. Some of the shoes, little magnet, and can pull that out of that hole there. And so. There's no, no reason we're not doing it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so that detent holds that shaft. Yeah, totally has an argument point. Yeah. I didn't take the snap. You want to try to get that cleaned up over here? Oh, that's you less shit to take apart. You. I have a little wire brush. That. That thing over there. All right. Yeah. We lost. So that shaft that you're working on there, you can pull that out, and that's you all can, you got to pull out. If or? you can take this off, uh -huh. there's less involved. If we can, if we can get this shaft pulled out, yep. we don't have to t pull the. Gotcha. Okay. So, what are the chances of getting that off the shaft? Oh, we'll see. Slim and none. Not very high. <laughs> I need that sandpaper. In with my slim and none. Yeah. Anytime there's movement, that's weakness in the machine. Yeah. When it, weakness. <laughs> things do try to frustrate you. Doesn't look like it. Take it the back. I need that thinner. <clears throat> Do you need me to sand on that a little bit more, or you got So the shaft's loose. Tap it a little bit. You take a plate off the front. There you go. Pull that out. One day I'll get that split over here. <laughs> Push that it forward and yep, kinda work it out the side. I'm holding it for now. I didn't. I never got the key yet. I never took the snap ring out. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to remember. It's been a this, this couple months. I think the whole thing's been Yep, that's good there. There we go. I was just a good It's out. Yeah. I don't know the same every time. <laughs> I think sometimes it's necessary. Tool. It's all about the tools, right? <laughs> that you can kill yourself. Let the spring go flying through a block wall. Yeah, right. So, so I heard. Bolt. This has like a socket. Yeah. Huh. It makes it easy. So we're compressing the spring? Yes. And then we'll have 
for a, re for a safe release. The spring stays, right? Yeah. Then you gotta, yeah, there's a little. Seen one of those. Those are nice pliers. Spreader pliers. Very nice. I need a set of those. So as you tighten the spring, it just pushes the clutch off the end of the shaft there, that's it? No, no, he's, he's releasing it now. Well, I was going to actually check the spring, but I don't know if it will or not. Do you have a cut off or something to get this? Dike or something? Got it? Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's pretty well worn. So let's take a look at that clutch. You think? All, all grooved and slappy. And yeah, this is. Now there's supposed to be a lining that's on there. Yeah, right? this the lining's supposed to be on here. So who bought oh, a new clutch? Who has the clutch? Yeah, who has the clutch? <laughs> 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 Hank, you got the clutch with you, right? <laughs> we gotta get that bearing. Is that bearing any good? It's all right. So this is the lining on here? That little spot? Yep. You we'll see our old clutch in it. No lining at all. Well, the big deal is that when you put it together, there's like no gap there. Yeah, so it's tight. And then when you put the new one, again, I think it's bigger than that. So what's the biggest killer of these? Just keeping them out of adjustment? 60 inch decks. Huh? 60 inch decks are the main <laughs> When we put this together, we'll s just to show the gap. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I see the gap now. So this is a this comparison. Right here. Yeah. The other one, this was flush against the gear. Yeah. Okay. That's great. So that's really the gap you're looking at. Okay. Yeah. You can feel it. You can reach in the, into there and feel it with your. Should be so you're about two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand. So, so anytime you're going to do this, you're going to have to. Re Basically, replace all three pieces. This piece, this piece, and that piece. I always do. And maybe the bearing. I always do. I think it's occupational because I still have. You know, like a 17 working on the body, on the body man. You know, I never wear a mask in 20 years now, so it is what it is. Okay, we gotta get the bearing off of here and put it on the knee. Where's your hermaphrodite pliers? Where's Hank? Now it's. It's like. You want to? Oops. Bearings in the back. You see that narrow gap in there? Yeah, now you can see the big difference. Yeah. Where is it? So that's it. Clock done. So what's the rate, like $18 an hour, Ryan? He's so busy getting ready. Yeah, that's the So, Brian, what do you that's charge like for a day like this? 18 bucks an hour or what? Yeah, it just went up. $40. Depends on how many three-handed helpers get in the way. Yeah, yeah. look at them, yeah. <laughs>
He's into it. Yeah. Head off. Too enthusiastic. That's right. Like I said, I'll get to it one day. I'll make a video. Oh, okay. Put them right into the cage. That's why I take the safeties out of all my tractors. This has a relay that puts power back there, too. Yeah, I don't have any safeties. That's what I do. I jump around. 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 I don't even do that. I just wire the cylinder and write to the key switch. You found it. So what'd you get them for? I think I paid 1100 bucks for it. With a 60 inch deck on it. Yeah, and uh, I had 1100 hours on it. Yeah, that's $500 with the clutch bars that we just put in there. <laughs> 